Don't roll your eyes. Nigga, I don't even know what you're talking about. I know you. You know where she works, and you know her schedule. True. I didn't do it, Zach. Look, she didn't do it, and I didn't do it, all right? You swear you ain't had nothing to do with it? I swear. Look, I ain't even know about it till she showed it to me at her. Wait. Hold on, wait. Wait, what? Did you set that up? Don't ask me that shit. No, hell no. You know what? Y'all niggas tripping. Okay, folks, so things are coming to light. That's what I really liked about these two episodes this week. You know, when you really look at it, there wasn't a lot of um, movement going on. You know, like, for example, a majority of episode 14 took place at the Open Mic Night Club. And before that, you know, we're at Angela's house on the phone with Fatima. Then Bryce comes over. Uh, episode 13, you know, we had a therapy session. Fatima at the parking um, garage talking with Paul. Uh, we go over to Zach's house where he's talking with Deja and Nathan. And uh, then we go over to Angela's place where it wraps up the episode. But despite there being a limited number of set pieces, a lot of things actually happened, which I thought was pretty cool. And a lot of confrontations and, you know, reveals were made. And in this instance, we're going to talk about Belinda being the one to create the fake profile for Fatima on that one dating app. And the fact that she created the profile to show to Nathan and then Nathan showed it to Zach, leading to, you know, some distrust in their relationship. You know, the whole <laughs> confrontation in the parking garage during season 2A. And this really reminds me, if you're a haves and have not fan, you'll know this reference here. Um, what's his name? Brandon slash Oscar. You know, he was hired by David to, you know, um, retrieve the money that Candace, you know, extorted from Jim. Basically, he had like a fake profile and whatnot detailing his successful career, finances, and that and the third. He showed it to Landon when they were at the Sarandon Hotel. And then from there, Landon showed that information to Candace, and then she fell for it. And as a result, you know, that led to her eventually being conned by Oscar. And if I remember correctly, um, Candace confronted Landon with a, a group of thugs, and they made him wet himself until he revealed, like, look, I had no idea he was like a con artist. The only thing it was that he came up to me at the bar, and I thought he was flirting with me, but in reality, he was trying to get with you. So he basically showed me, you know this web page about himself to show you to kind of, you know, get him to get, uh, get you to get with him. And that was it. But it kind of reminds me again of what, Be uh, Belinda did. It's like, Hey, you know what? You know, Zach, right? Okay. Okay. So let me see if I can use him to get to Zach and break up the whole thing with Fatima. So, Hey, here's this dating site for Fatima, you know, uh, you know, here's a profile page for, her, and then she knows Nathan would, you know, run to tell Zach and then now lead to drama. Now, we do know that later on in the season, Belinda's going to have a talk with Nathan about, you know, running his mouth. And then eventually we see a scene in the promo where she's at the hospital. And I guess everybody's coming to the hospital due to Zach's mom being there. And, you know, they're probably there for support. And, you know, Belinda maybe apologizes and tries to make things right with uh, Fatima. So by the end of the season, we could see some reconciliations going on. Uh, but there's a lot of wrong Belinda did. Which, by extension, you know, there's no telling exactly how much she did. Like, I'm still convinced that she was the one who was off-screen in Sisters that took the photo of Karen and Zach hugging. And then she sent it to Angela to show Fatima. Because, remember, Angela never dropped a name. She just, basically, this person is like a nameless associate of Angela that Fatima may or may not know. And I mean, that just screams Belinda because probably at the time of the photo, her and Belinda are still on bad terms. So she knows like, you know what, if I say Belinda, you know, was the one that sent this and you know, you you probably think it's fake drama and whatnot, just like the profile. But yeah, um, despite like Zach putting the clues together, then like Nate and Tony confronting her about it and then Angela as well, she still denies it. The truth is going to come out at some point, but yeah, what do you think about this? This seems like a Belinda slash Karen move, you know, like because those two get along so well. And hell, remember Karen with the blank sheet of paper and the envelope with the DNA test results? Yeah, th a fake profile is definitely something that someone within Karen's circle would come up with. So 
With that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And this goes back to a theory I had a while ago where, I, you know, back when I was talking about the damn uh, credit card stuff, I was like, what if Belinda took the card and, you know, ran it up in Zach's name to kind of break up Zach and Karen so she can get with him herself? But, you know, hey, that's neither here nor there. So, as always, like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next video.